First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely do well, and honors and citations to the hopeful elect. Most likely, real quick lesson I want to uh, get into and also entitle this <clears throat> um, You are the company you keep, as the saying goes in the world. You are the company you keep. Um, and in this instance, in this lesson, I mean it in a, in a, in a, in a good fashion. Because I'm thinking about the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the way they conduct themselves, how they carry themselves through the spirit and power of Yahweh It is the right vibration that's being pushed down. It really is, man. And this ain't no um, man-pleasing type lesson. Um, I got an inspiration from this lesson in a point. I got. A, I actually got a scripture too. Right, but um, finish my um, intro, so to speak. One of the um, first and foremost, they pushed down through the spirit power Yahweh Shai. You know, our big brother Yahweh Shai. And the Most High Power Man is the most beautiful. Uh, uh, being the most beautiful entity of all time, and Yahweh Shai, okay, the firstborn, the only begotten, is right after the most beautiful being, the most beautiful entity, man. And the reason why I say that is to say here in Babylon the Great, you know, you could be a little, you could be a girl, or whatever, right? You could think you cute, you could think you beautiful. Look, that don't woo, that don't woo me, man. It doesn't at all. I don't give a fuck about your beauty, man. I don't care how pretty you think you is. I don't care how cute you think you is. You ain't as beautiful as your Yahweh Shai. You ain't as beautiful as his truth. You ain't as beautiful as our heritage. You ain't as beautiful as the Holy Spirit. So, you know, you could really miss miss me, miss me with that. That don't fucking phase me, man. I know a, a, a real beauty is. Matter of fact, then I'm going to get uh, finish my, 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 my original point <laughs> on how the Lord uh, directed it to this. But hey, the spirit is like the wind, like the scriptures say. Um, let me see real quick so I can... Yeah, I, oh, that's a good one too. Stumbling out the beauty of a woman. Don't give a fuck, man. Think you bad. And that's how you really start to start start to get them anyway. When they see that you truly don't give a fuck, man. In my experience. But that's the here nor there. Okay. It's Ecclesiastes 25 and 1. In three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful. Both before the most high and men. The unity of brethren. See, that's beautiful. It's more beautiful things than just looks. Beauty runs deeper than looks. And uh, it's all going to tie in, uh, you know, within the lesson. The unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agreed together. See, just for uh, example, it's more beautiful things than a girl with a fatty. Okay. Life is uh, deeper than that But that's why it says in the book of Proverbs How long ye simple ones Will you love simplicity Jake is simple bro Jake is simple man and it, and it all ties in Because it ties back into the lesson You are the company you keep So if you are uh, uh, 
sincere person, a humble person, willing to learn, able to take correction, able to take rebuke. That's the company you want to keep. Those are our beautiful traits. That's the company you know you want to keep as such as yourself. But if you, you know, you prideful, arrogant, but you still you think you look pretty, you're not really beautiful, yo. Know? At that point, you're not really beautiful. So we gotta have those uh, correct char characteristical, if that's a word, traits within the Lord, right? So just getting back into the point of you are the company you keep. the apostles and elders of the great millstone pushing down that beautiful vibration we're ultimately in each other's company when we when we walk when, as we're under the same doctrine you know when we watch each other's lessons when we camping together we are each other's company you know that that we keep man and it's all our our vibration is from who? Yahweh Shai. Right? So, the spirit that's upon the Apostle and Elders Great Millstone, the Spirit of Yahweh Shai, of how they give all the praises and glory to the Lord, that, to me, is so beautiful, yo. Now, that's, now that's beautiful, man. Beauty is more than just a fat, a fatty in yoga pants. That's beautiful to me, man. N not wanting no uh, praise or fame or credit or glory for yourself, and you automatically redirecting it to your albash mashai. Now that's beautiful, man. Now that's the company I want to keep. That's who I want to be around. That's who I want to follow. Cause that's how I want to be myself, and that's how I am. Do the strip by albash mashai. I just pretty much went through something, um, um, I was doing some, uh, you know, like some char charitable type of work, and they were looking to, uh, kind of like trying to like praise me, so to speak, and immediately, once I finished the job, I immediately said, well, thank, because it took a little while. I immediately said, oh, man, thank the good Lord. Got it figured out. Because they say the Lord, you know, because we amongst uh, people, well, which, which, they got decent spirits. Could potentially be the elect. They got some decent spirits, man. So that's when the job is on. I immediately, hey, thank the good Lord. Thank the Lord. And they were like, oh, no, thank you, thank you. Oh, hey, thank the Lord. Just kept giving it to the Lord. Why not? I was praying to the Lord that I, that I could be able to do it. It was because of the Lord that that the job got done. Because it was being a pain. I'm like, Lord, please. So I can get up on out of here. Lord, please, let me get, please help me do this, Lord. <laughs> so then when it got done, immediately, the first thing, thank the good Lord, you know? Now the reason why I broke the apostles is because that vibration, those teachings... The spirit and power Yahweh Bashar Mashai upon men is passed down from the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, man. You know, Babakasha don't take this as a man pleasing type of lesson. This is a this is an appreciation lesson, man. As I as I realize it, well not even realize it, but applied it today. And it feels it feels so good to give the praise to the Lord, man. Truthfully. Felt good to give the praise to the Lord. And then you know what else? They gave me a uh they gave me like a pretty much like a goodie basket, right? And on the box, it it, it said 144. So alright, let me get a um so that was just like a testimony. Below one it was edifying. And I'm gonna get one more scripture and, and then wrap it up. Um 
So I'm really, I'm very, I'm very appreciative, man. Happy to be under the um, doctrine of Great Millstone. Because the, vi the right vibration is being pushed down. Because Yahweh Shai is dealing with the doctrine of Great Millstone, man. That's why the, the right vibration is being pushed down. And you are the company you keep. That's the company I want to keep. I don't want to keep the company of a prideful fucking ninja. I don't want to keep the company of somebody who's looking for fame. Somebody who's looking for glory. Somebody who's trying to be cool. Somebody who's trying to get money out of this, out of this, out of this truth. I don't want, I don't want no company like that. Who's somebody who's trying to be a tough guy. And it is you can stub your toe and, and be in a hospital. If you stub it hard enough, fuck around be in a hospital for two days. But you prideful. Yeah, that makes sense. So this Ecclesiastes uh, 6. So when I say you're the company you keep, really I'm referring to uh, uh, the doctrine that you're under. Okay? So Ecclesiastes 6 and 36. Uh, and if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him. And let thy foot wear the steps of his door. See? So be constantly around him. You want to be constantly around men of uh, of understanding. And that's why we watch each other's lessons. Tune into each other's live streams. Even camp together. So that we could... Uh, uh, another scripture. The scripture say, be continually... Among the uh, godly, roughly paraphrasing. See? So that's why the Lord made different camps. As a filtering system. Get those people that got a prideful mind and a rebellious mind and a wicked mind that ain't right. Let them keep each other's company. Fizzle, phase them out away from my hopeful elect. So, you know, Great Millstone has the right vibrations, man. Totally. And I, and I, and I said, man, please listen. I'm glad that I, that I was able to apply it and see the, the, the beautiness of it myself, man. And I'm like, hey, that's because I'm under the doctrine of Great Millstone. Where we don't take in praise for ourselves. Oh, I just got another scripture. The Wadi Abash Mashai. We not taking in no praise for ourselves, man. For fucking what? For what? <laughs> you can fuck around and get and, and get constipated. You can be constipated, bro. In this in this corruptible body. But you want some praise. You can get diarrhea. But you want some praise, nigga? You can be throwing up. You can eat some bad food. You can be throwing up on a toilet. But you want praise. You was a goofy, man. <laughs> so lucky, man. You're getting too excited, man. So lucky about that. It's the book of uh, John, chapter uh, 12, verse. <laughs> oh, man. Yo. It's uh, John 12 and 42. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers, also many believed on him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him. You don't think you got these type of men today with this type of spirit? This is why the scriptures say, blessed is he that readeth. Because you can see these different type of spirits in the scriptures. Man, please. Now, this is your man pleasers, man. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also, many believed on him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him. Least they should be put out of the synagogue. For they love the praise of men more than the praise of the Most High. Ooh, ooh, so... So here it is, and I'm rejoicing and celebrating like I like I haven't heard this scripture before. But you know what's so beautiful that each time like you read a scripture, you can get a different viewpoint from it. That's why you could react like you heard it for the first time. Because now I'm thinking, right? You reject, and it not, and I as a, with the testimony I gave, I immediately get I, I, yo I tried to yo I took no praise to myself, man. I was about to say I tried because I kept redirecting to the Lord. I tried to take no praise to myself, right? And, right, I did not want the praise of men. 
I did not want it. And we all have multiple uh, occasions of this, not just one occasion, right? I did not want it. And guess what? Because I gave it to you, how about you, shy by saying the Lord, you know, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, until low well in the day they may come in, if they be the elect. Guess what? Now, Yahweh Shemashah is in the heavens praising us. And that's why he allowed me to see the 144 right on the box that they gave me. And we know that 144 is, 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 is confirmation for us, man. It could be a pleasing. 144 could represent so much when we see it. It could represent the Lord giving us praise. Like, ah, that was dope. You know? That was beautiful. You know, I respect what you did just uh, right there. That's good right there. That's pleasing to me right there. Boom, look at this 144, you know? It could be that you're on the right track, making the right decisions, whatever. But either way, it's, it's good. So that's like a form of um, the praise of the Most High right there upon us. Okay? Like a spiritual spiritual hug type, a spiritual dap type <laughs> you know, the spirit you dap mixed with the hug type joint. From you, I was shy. How about that, man? See, because we doing the right thing. On the right track, man. But you got guys, ooh, ooh they love that praise. Ooh, ooh, they love that praise, boy. Uh-huh. You ain't even getting viewed, you know? Type spirit. See, really letting it get to their head. But that's pretty much it, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. With that, I'm going to say shalom.